Gordon to inbound. Does to Williams. Into the front court. Marcus Williams rises for three. Got it! Aggies win 81 79. But now I ain't gonna lie, it was crazy. I'm, I'm sitting there running the play like, uh, I'm looking at him. He's not even looking at me. I said, he's shooting at me. I'm looking at it the whole time. Like, Oh, get it stuck! Come on, let me go. You want to know what he really did, though? He was doing his best impression of me. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? He learned from me, the big dog. say that your green zone is when are you your best and then what is it that you're best at conference play is a sweet spot for head coach buzz williams he thrives on rhythm so with two games a week from now until the sec tournament in march coach knows his exact schedule for the next two months my green zone is always in the morning it starts at 5 45 my entire day is scheduled. I write my kids every day that they go to school. Uh, I have a quiet time every morning. That's what I'm about to do now. And then my, my next three hours are planned. I know what's on this computer that I have to watch this morning. This is the beginning of my uh, game charts, my prep charts, uh, what we're doing in practices on that table. I read a book a week, but throughout each week, I read uh, four books at a time and the book I read at night is the book that I feel like will help me fall asleep because I struggle to sleep uh, One will be some level of leadership One genre will be spiritual and then the other book is kind of business specific In order for me to be impactful I think I have to make sure that I feed myself figuratively and literally the right things obviously I've been very rhythmatic in my days for a long time and I think that I'm more aware in what I'm trying to accomplish and how it impacts others. This is one of those universities that has elite football coach, elite basketball coach, and both of them get the entire package of what their job entails in order to be elite. Not only is he one of my favorite coaches and coaches that I admire the most. He's one of my favorite people. He is an important person in my life. That guy's a five. That's their leading scorer. In January and February, it's hard to find any free minutes. I've tried to be efficient with my time, but then you're constantly trying to refine what is it that I can be the most impactful at in my green zone for everyone else, to those that I'm charged with leading. Gordon on a two on two. Crossover wave, spin, hate, lay it in! Q, right wing, three in the air. Bottom! Inside JB Jam! Right here, 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 right here. I used to train first thing in the morning, and now I kind of train towards the end of my green zone. Six days a week I work. Four days are in the weight room, and two days are some level of cardio. So six days a week is what I hold myself accountable every week. I struggled with this early when I began to train because I felt like it was taking away time from my job. I think my lens on that has changed because I'm not old yet, but I'm not young anymore. Not that anything revolves around me, but I, I do want to walk my daughters down the aisle. I do want to live a long life with my wife when I'm no longer coaching. And it's right by the body God's blessed me with, and I think we're charged with taking care of it. But I also think that how can I be an example to our players of take care of your body? The weight room's just as important to your game as your dribbling and shooting skills are. Uh, your words and your life have to match up. And so if my example shows them, hey, I'm trying to take care of myself, then I think that that helps us be more efficient in our words. I don't have to say that very much to our players. It's kind of unspoken because they know I'm going to train 
Uh, Coach Gep has me on the same regimen or routine that they're on. I'm probably a little overboard like I am with many other characteristics that I try to follow every day, but I'm not missing no matter what. Good. Uh, similar to what I mentioned earlier about reading or my quiet time, uh, there's, there's nine different categories of daily disciplines, right? My kids that I mentioned is one, my quiet time is one, how I read is one, uh, how I exercise is one. My relationships, right, call, email, text. Uh, that's four people a day, every day of the year. So it's 120 people per month that I connect with personally. I write two thank you notes a day, every day of the year. That ends up normally being 730 handwritten thank you notes. I'm gonna just tell you, at least twice a month, and usually more often than that, I receive a piece of snail mail from Buzz. It's either a handwritten note that he read a book that I need to read, and he has like reams of paper, written handwritten notes about the book to give me so that I can become a better me. He'll send me a, a team motto that he has for the team, and he'll explain to me why that's important. His operational procedure to grow young men into accountable leaders is world class. I watch how spirited it is. I watch how passionate it is and how he demands of them that they be the best version of themselves so that the team cohesively can be its best version. It ain't got nothing to do with what happened 48 hours ago. We can only be one and oh now. This is the only practice we have for this game against a team that plays more defenses than any team we've played against since we've been here. This is our only practice. If you got a problem, I'm pulling up. Henderson with the dunk. The Aggies up 15. The story of the night are that these Texas A&M Aggies are for real. The vast majority that we face every day is uncontrollable. We don't control it. Hey, yo, this is crazy, yo. <laughs> but every day we wake up, we control three things. We control kindness, we control effort, and we control passion. I'm staying back, 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 back. And the Aggies are 4-0 and in SEC play with a 67-64 win. We decide if we're gonna give every last ounce of everything we got to whatever challenge we face that day, and we decide if we're gonna have an undeniable positive energy. And that guy's got it all. I know the vibe.